Welcome to Take 5. Today we have with us Blake Miramont, CEO and Creative Director of Architectural Plastics in Petaluma, California. Thanks for being with us, Blake. Yeah, thanks for having me. I picked this intro shot uh, with today's focus, which is museum display cases, but you fabricate all sorts of applications with acrylic, don't you? Yeah, um, we make anything from uh, art installations, cases, product displays, medical instruments, furniture, wine cellars out of acrylic, uh, pretty much anything you can dream of, and we make it. And here we have a couple shots of the shop early on. Can you tell us a bit about the history of the company and the people behind it? Uh, yeah, my father started it uh, back in 1977 uh, in San Francisco, and then uh, he moved it up here to Petaluma, California in the 80s. Uh, and we've stayed in our 16,000 square foot facility ever since. Very cool. Actually, here is a peek into the current space. And um, you not only fabricate, but sell sheets cut to size, right? Yeah, we do pretty much anything you can imagine out of uh, Optium. We do cut to size, uh, seamed panels, as well as the vitrines and box frames. Very cool. And what's the largest size acrylic that you carry that may not be a Truvy product? Um, it's a quarter inch, 91 by 150 inch sheet. And okay. we can get bigger than that. We just don't stock them. Great. No, I get questions a lot about bigs, so I thought I'd ask. Yeah. Um, one of the things you're famous for are the beautiful joins on your Optium Museum acrylic cases, as seen here in this box frame on a Takashi uh, Murakami. Can you tell us a little bit about these? Yeah, um, we work with a lot of museums, uh, all the major ones in San Francisco and several more throughout the country, but also high-end framers, private individuals, and corporate clients. Uh, this particular one we did for um, Andrew over at uh, Small Works, which oh, yeah. is a great high-end framer in uh, San Francisco. But yeah, it was it was a fun piece, and we're pretty much making these several of them every single day. So it's wow. a great fun product. Fantastic. And you've also done a lot of work for the San Francisco International Airport and their extensive art collection. Mm -hmm. um, are there specific considerations for works in such public high traffic areas? Yeah, um, uh, what's pictured is our first uh, large Optium job we did with them. And big things to think about are abrasion resistance for uh, kids or maybe even teenagers who might be kind of wanting to touch or bump against the uh, cases, but also uh, security. We, we have a number of methods uh, depending upon the pedestal, but uh, security screws are a common application for this. Right. And you've done work for many museums, including the San Francisco Museum of Modern Art shown here. Um, do museums differ from your other clients? Um, they do. Uh, they're all very particular uh, and they're all a little different. So in some applications, uh, they'll want us to make bases or pedestals as well as the vitrines themselves. Uh, Typically, we like to use acrylic, either white or black, and it can be glossy or matte finish um, because they don't off-gas like paint. So it's just sort of a faster and, and nicer finish way to go. Very nice. You know, and I was also not aware that you work with artists as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a big part of our business um, is actually working direct with artists and even doing our own uh, art commissions for certain clients that uh, want us to do creative stuff. Oh, fun. And you've done some really big projects, and I think you've shipped some of these internationally, right? Yeah, um, the the really large uh, case on the left, uh, that was actually a, a case that has a bunch of dados in it for David Spriggs, who's a pretty amazing Canadian artist. Um, but yeah, we shipped that up to Nova Scotia. Oh, wow. That is absolutely stunning. Thank you. And it's really great that you've been able to keep your staff working during the pandemic, uh, making face shields. And I know you've been incredibly busy with these and the sneeze guards and other pandemic related projects. So I really appreciate your taking the time to talk with us today. Oh yeah, absolutely. Happy to do it. Well, I thought we'd leave with a shot of your wife and architectural plastics chief operating officer, Virginia Miramont, wearing one of the shields and stay safe out there. We will. Thank you.